Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Our today's question is validate binary search tree. Given a binary tree, determine if it is a validate uh, if it is a valid binary search tree. Assume a binary search tree is defined as follows: the left subtree of a node contains only nodes with keys less than the node's key. The right subtree of the node contains only nodes with keys greater than the node's key. Both the left left and right subtrees must also be binary search trees. Okay. So not just one node, right? The subtree that this node, like the, the left or the right node of the root node forms. So that subtree in itself should also be a valid binary search tree. So in any question around tree in the interview, it's really important to notice if it is a binary search tree or is it just a binary tree? So there are some problems where it doesn't make a difference, but if if you miss on the fact that it is a binary search tree, then you might start approaching the problem in a different way, which, which might not lead to the right solution. So it's always important to keep that in mind. So as the question itself describes, a binary search tree is a tree where the left node of any node is less than the node's key and also is less than any of the parents of its uh, parent, right? So um, let's say we have, uh, let's take, go by the examples. So this is clearly um, a valid binary search tree because two is the node, one is its left subtree, uh, left child, sorry, and that is less than two, and three is the right child, and it is more than two, right? Now let's talk about this. So in this case, five is the parent. One is the left child and less than five, so it's fine. But four is to the right of five and less than five. Uh, five and that's why it's not a valid binary search tree because it is. it should have been more since it's in the right of the node, right? So similarly here, for example, if one would have had a right child, which would have been seven, okay? So that would also have made the tree to become an invalid binary search tree because although seven is more than one, because it's to the right, it satisfies the property for one, but it does not satisfy the property for it being on the left of five, right? So anything on the left of five here should be less than five, okay? And anything to the right of five should be more than five, okay? So so uh, this is really an important thing that we need to take care when we design the solution. So these are the various approaches that we can take to solve any question or arrays. Please have a look, pause the video and come back. Okay, so since this problem clearly is dependent on us solving the smaller instances of the same problem using the same logic and then building up the final result to understand whether it's a valid binary search tree or not, we will be using recursion in this. So let's get started. So as I was discussing that we need to define minimum and maximum boundaries for every node, right? It will be different for every node because it will be the child of a different parent node and it will lie in the left or right so that would change those min and max but if it lies within those boundaries then it 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 validates as a sub problem to be a part of the bigger valid binary search tree right so that's what we'll be trying to do in recursion okay so <clears throat> as is the case with almost all solutions that use recursion we basically try to uh, create another method which does the work and gets called repeatedly like a helper function and we call that from this method so we'll just create a helper function pass it the root and since for the root of the tree we don't have any boundaries right it could be any value since this value is of type integer given in the class definition of tree node, it could be integer dot min value to integer dot max value, any value between these, right? So we don't have any boundaries and that's why we give it a null initially, okay? 
now let's <coughs> write the help function okay so here we have the tree node root we have an integer object because we want the values to be integers so that will be min and max sorry okay right so now first of all if the root is null right that could happen if you are like you reach the leaf node and you try to call the helper function on its left child that would be null right so we just want to return true okay so if root equals equals null then we just return true sorry yeah otherwise let's check our conditions where we would return false right so min so so we need to check min and max both right so min is not equal to null so if min is null then it means that we don't need to check anything on min right but if it is not then we need to check this value so if it's not null and the root dot value okay is less or equal to min right so since it should be lesser than this value we cannot even cater to cases where they are equal right so we just take or uh, care of less than equal to min or in a similar fashion if max is not equal to null and the root dot value is greater than equal to max so in both of these cases we will return false okay otherwise since the left tree and the right subtree of these should in itself be valid binary search trees for this whole problem to be a valid binary search tree we'll call this on both of them and they both should return true right so we'll just return helper root dot left okay now so root dot left for, for this it could be as low as possible the value could be as low as possible so there's no definition to min right but it should not be more than the current value of the node right that is root dot value and for the right it can be as big as it can be like for from an integer range perspective but it should not be lesser than the value of the current node right so if for the min value of this we will give the root dot val and then we will give a max okay so let's try running this okay submit it right okay so um the time complexity for this will be o of n because we are visiting every node of the tree exactly once and the space complexity would be o of n as well because we are using recursion and it has a stack associated with it which is always the number of elements that are being traversed or uh, if it is a tree or the number of nodes so it's o of n as well so i hope you find this video helpful and if you do please like share and subscribe keep coding and take care of yourselves guys